I'm so excited about today's video. I am walking through a 2008 20-foot Airstream that we're going to be renting in about a month. And the owners have very kindly allowed us to come early and take a look around and give you a tour. Let's go! Welcome to Odometer Dave, where we help make every mile count with tips and how-tos for RVing and road tripping. Today we're touring Dakota the Airstream, which you can find for rent on RV Share and Outdoorsy. Dakota is a 2008 Safari Special Edition with the 20FB floor plan, and FB can only mean front bed. We'll also talk about the modification the owners made to replace the original dinette with a sofa and a lagoon table. One of the first things people want to know is what's the bathroom situation? So let's take a look. A really nice sized shower. And I'm really excited about the shower because I think maybe I'll be able to stand up in it. So let's find out. Watch my head. Oh boy. Look at that. I can stand up in the shower. Oh my god. This is going to be awesome. And there's actually like room to maneuver. This is going to be great. And there's a place to sit down if you want to take a shower sitting down. It's got... This guy that comes across. Got these nice little porthole windows. And there's a toilet with a foot flush down there. There's a nice medicine cabinet and a sink. And there's more storage down below, which is also where your toilet paper holder is. There's also plenty of room to move around in this bathroom. Like you, you don't feel cramped at all. It's easy to stand up and sit down. Um, which has been an issue in some smaller RVs. I love that the kitchen in this Airstream is at the back. You've got this kitchen window that looks out. Um, sometimes these are the best views at campgrounds is out the back. Um, and this window does open. Um, there's storage up above. Put your fruit in there. It's a nice two-sided sink with a little pull-out sprayer. Down below there is some nice size storage, it's a trash bin, let's see how far the back that goes, look at that. I love how everywhere you look in an Airstream you find that aluminum, just everywhere. And look at this little detail, there's a little spot for the trash bin to go in, which keeps it maybe from sliding around so much when you're on the road. You have a three burner gas stove, and an oven. And above that, there's this really nice storage. Just, there's so much more storage in this unit than I was expecting. Um, because down below, you have, oh, you have that drawer for silverware. By the way, they, they provide the silverware. And plates, I think these are, yeah, melamine plates. One more drawer down here with cast iron cookware. And there's this nice pull-out pantry. The fridge is a three-way, really nice size. Three-way means it'll run on electric shore power, battery power, and off of propane. And they told me that this is a new freezer door. He has to figure out um, a fix for the latch on it. But it doesn't matter too much because when you close it, it closes as well. We'll see what it's like when two of us are in here, but this kitchen has plenty of maneuvering room and a lot of counter space for a relatively small RV. The one thing it doesn't have is a microwave, but I don't think that'll affect us. And moving over to what would normally be the dinette, um, the owners last year did this really smart thing. They took out the original dinette and they replaced it with this sofa that also pulls out into a bed and there's still storage underneath, which is really nice. And then the coolest thing is this lagoon table that they custom fit. The table can rotate around, so you can sit in bed and have access to the table. One person can be sitting on this side, while another person is sitting on the bed. This is just really nice. It's maybe smaller than the original table, but um, it's still plenty big. I think we'd both be able to have laptops on it. Um, we'll find out. One small casualty of the lagoon table is that it blocks this divider that would normally pull across the space 
so that you'd have some privacy. Not going to be an issue for us because it's just the two of us and the dog. And I don't think the dog needs that much privacy. When you're traveling, you actually take the lagoon table off and you just lay it on the bed. They said it doesn't move around. Um, you don't need to strap it down. Up above the dinette is more storage. Um, they have a nice cubby with some tools in there. Uh, stereo with Bluetooth. Over here, there's more storage. More storage. Unfortunately, these are too short for me to put my violin in, so I will just have to figure out another solution for that. Because I also don't think my fiddle will fit. No, I'm sure it won't fit over here. Um, more nice storage over the bed. There are these nice lights for reading. There's a remote control for the Max Air fan that's over my head. Some more storage. This is a cool thing I didn't know about Airstreams. These are hampers that open up and there is storage down inside of them. And there's another one on this side, which they have some cables stored in. And I'll also show you the storage that's under the bed. I'll do my best here. This lifts up. There are struts that hold it up. There's just a huge amount of storage. Um, you can also access this um, down here. Next to the bed, there's clothing storage. A really nice closet with a shelf up here. Down below that are two drawers that pull out. This bed is a little bit smaller than a queen. You can use queen sheets on it, but not double sheets. And it's got a memory foam topper on it. When you come in the door, there are these nice coat hooks and a fire extinguisher, a little vacuum cleaner, and a little first aid kit. If you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like, and heck, even share it with some friends. They might love it too. And now outside, just look at this beauty. I can't believe the condition it's in. I don't know how many miles are on it, of course, but it has really been treated well. Only a couple little minor things here and there. It's got these rock guards on the windows. You can easily tilt these out to let in ventilation. There's propane. They also provide a weight distribution hitch. On the entry side, look at this, this Safari Special Edition. This door I'm way too excited about because it has this metal grill that will keep the dog from bursting through the screen. Just look at this design and craftsmanship, those rivets. And this is the only damage, serious damage. They said that they had a blowout last year, which must have been pretty scary. And it did a little bit of damage to the, um, the wheel well and that underskirt. But I believe the tires have since been replaced. Coming around the back, they have a backup camera. And their tilt-out window. There's a storage locker, which is locked at the moment. And then there's also this lift-up locker where they keep their leveling blocks. This is the freshwater tank fill. Look at these sweet lights. And of course here are the black and gray water tank flushes. Shore power. There's a black tank flush. And above that is the city water that you'll connect when you're at your campground. There's also a utility shower, an outdoor shower. Maybe we can use that on the dog. Who knows, maybe we can use it on ourselves. These are the windows on the other side of the bathroom. They do not open, but there is a fan vent above. Here's the sewer hose storage. The trailer also has stabilizing jacks that you can turn. There's a tool. <laughs> um, you turn this and the jacks come down. You don't use them to level, they just stabilize. So I really hope you enjoyed this quick look at this 20-foot Airstream from 2008. We're going to be getting on the road with it in about a month, and we'll have a lot more adventures to share then. Take care.